today we are going over an Irish whiskey, but with a little twist. Today we're going to talk about Keeper's Heart Irish plus bourbon. Oh yeah, you know I'm excited. All they had to do was use that B word. Let's get into it. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. Ah, 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 ah. At the whisker corner. Whisker corner? No, whiskey corner. Sorry. <laughs> Either way, truly appreciate you stopping by, checking out the video, and checking out the channel. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for getting me to where we're at right now. And um, without you guys, there is no whiskey corner. So I always have to thank you guys. I'm very proud of uh, being part of this community and having your support. If you have not yet subscribed though, these are to all my subscribers and people that are watching these videos. But if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, hook it up with a subscribe. It'll take you a few seconds and you'll be helping me out. So that would be great. We have a goal of 2,500 and I would really like to reach it. So only you guys can help. So as I said, we are going to talk about this Irish whiskey. As you can probably see, I'm still rocking the little St. Patrick's Day hat, and maybe I messed up because I didn't wear a green shirt, but whatever, that's besides the point. But yes, we are nearing to St. Patrick's Day. You might be seeing this on St. Patrick's Day, but it is upcoming. So it's only fair that we give a little bit of love to these Irish whiskeys. I've done Red Breast, I've done Jimmy Jameson, and I stood there in the whiskey, in the Irish whiskey aisle, and I didn't know what to get, right? I really didn't. Until I saw this particular one, and it intrigued me because it said Irish plus bourbon. And I am talking about Keeper's Heart. Again, Irish plus bourbon. So if you don't know this, you are not then I guess we're on the same boat because I didn't know anything about this. But from what I read, Brian Nation, he left Jameson and he started his own distilling, O'Shaughnessy Distilling in Minneapolis, right? And what he did is that at least the very first one that came out, he merged Irish whiskey with American rye, right? To the rye people, I would be going to try that because you'll probably enjoy that, right? I'm not a rye person, so I particularly wouldn't go and get that. But what I was interested in was this one. So I guess this is their second type of whiskey release um, or the second offering. And this is Irish plus bourbon. Yep, you know it. Irish plus bourbon. So it has a lot of stuff that it says on the back so let's look at the front right here it says irish whiskeys blended with american bourbon we combine the unique qualities of irish grain and single pot still whiskeys with american bourbon for a remarkable drinking experience hopefully it is right so this is 92 proof and it cost me 43 dollars which is not bad right i'm telling you i was looking at 60 70 a hundred dollar irish whiskeys and also some cheap irish whiskeys like proper 12 or even some of the jamesons you know and I, I just didn't know what to get until i saw this one that intrigued me so i already took off the little paper it's right over there or the little seal but we haven't popped it so let's pop this that wasn't a bad pop all right that that, that was respectable right that was respectable um, so being 92 proof, it's already an advantage with me, quite honestly, because I, I think that's my only issue with some of the um, Irish whiskeys that I've tasted or that I've uh, that I've bought, in, um, that they're all like around that 80 proof range, and I just think they need a little bit more oomph. So shout out to. Um, Red Breast 12 for doing a cast strength or Red Breast for doing a Red Breast 12 cast strength, which is, you know, over 100 proof. But a lot of the other Irish distilleries are putting out 80, 86, uh, 
it's just in the 80s and I just don't feel that's enough. So we got it here in our Glen Kern. We're gonna, Glen Karen, we're going to smell it, then taste it, and then I'll uh, share with you what I think about it. So let's go in for a smell. Wow, I'm getting a big whiff of vanilla, caramel, and honey right there, like right from the start. It like, like, you know, you know how in karate the kids go, bah! Like that's what it did to my nose. Ooh, that honey, wow, that honey is just amazing. And then you're getting some, some, uh, the caramel aspect to it. But you're also getting some like cherries as well. Um, oak and there's some type of spice in here. Maybe a cinnamon spice. It, it smells amazing. I gotta tell you guys, this smells really freaking good. So let's go in for a taste because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm fiending to taste this. So cheers. Okay. So there's what, there's the Irish part, right? So on the smell, I was smelling a lot of like bourbon notes, um, but now I'm getting, I am getting bourbon notes and I'll get to that in a second, but I'm also getting that Irish whiskey note. Um, in this particular case, it's apples, right? Which isn't bad. It, it tastes really good. Um, so there's apple, there's a little bit of ethanol, but not bad. You're not getting a Kentucky hug, but it's letting you know that it's there, right? To me, it's like right here in my jawline um, and kind of near in the back of my throat. It's like, hey, I'm here. I'm here to stay. It's me, Keeper's Heart. <laughs> um, so it's definitely letting me know it's there. Now, I'm getting some spices. Maybe baking spices? Maybe, or, or if I had to say spice, maybe cinnamon. Um, you're getting that honey. You're getting the, um, you're getting a little bit of oak. Um, is that leather? No. Um, you're getting toffee, you're getting caramel, brown sugar. Um, what else? It, 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 there's something else there. Hold up, cheers. Honey, maybe? I don't know if I already said that. Uh, but there's definitely honey in here. And now I'm getting some like cherries and apple pie. If that makes sense. This is freaking good, guys. I would recommend this. I'm not sure if it's sold everywhere. If, I don't know if, if, if it's just here in Florida. But if you see this and you're a bourbon lover, and you want to get into some Irish whiskeys that you might, well, no, not that you might, that you will like, I would definitely get a bottle. It's 43 bucks. That is not bad. And what you're getting is an amazing experience because right now I can't really tell you if it's more towards the Irish whiskey side or more towards the bourbon side. And that's how good of a blend it is, right? So. I would recommend this. I want to say in terms of Irish whiskeys, I would probably give this like a four and a half, right? Because I'm I'm not really into Irish whiskeys. So this is probably one of the better ones that I've had. But if I have to put it in a list of overall, I would say this is a solid three and a half palm trees. Um, at 43 bucks, you can't go wrong. I can see myself reaching for this. And quite honestly, now I want to do a blind between this and my Jameson and Black Barrel. So I don't know who will work. But what I do know is that this is freaking amazing, right? For what it is, for 43 bucks? Oh, hell yes, I would definitely buy this again. But yeah, I would recommend this. And if you guys pick it up, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are because yeah, I, I am pleasantly surprised and happy that I got this. So comment below, let me know, have you had this? What was the price you got it? And what are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not? Give me some notes, give me something. Now, you just want to 
let me know that you've never had it, um, then sure. And tell me what is your favorite Irish whiskey? Not just what you have, but what is your favorite Irish whiskey of everything that you've tasted? Comment below, I would love that. I love talking with you guys, so please do me that. Also, like or dislike this video as it would really truly help me out. I also need you guys to subscribe if you haven't done so already because that really helps me out as well. Lastly, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and I want you guys to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.